Welcome back. It's the happy birthday portion of our show right now. Joining us, it's Pete Holmes. Thank you so much. I just, I'm doing a lot of press today, and I just said nobody said happy birthday to me yet. So this is my first one. Sacramento, thank you very much. You're welcome, Pete. Uh, it was actually in my Google Calendar. Is it Pete Holmes' Oh, of birthday. course it was. Yeah, it, yeah because celebrate. it puts all your contacts into your calendar. Yeah, for you. I, uh, I celebrate your birthday every year. I have a little Pete Holmes shrine. <laughs> we put a little cake there. Uh, I'm so glad you're going to be on the network. I had my couch reserved for you just in case you needed it from crashing days. Oh, and I then love that. now you've got this big gig. You don't need my couch anymore. Now you can just sit on the couch like a real American family, <laughs> sit on the couch and watch a multicam sitcom, which has always been one of my dreams. Fantastic. Okay, tell us about the show. This is actually based on the life of a real human being. Of a real human being named Tom Smallwood, who, just like my character on the show, got laid off and he was very good at bowling. He still is very, very good at bowling. And he had to make a choice. My character has to make a choice. Do I try to work at another car factory or do I listen to my family and my friends who are all saying, go for it. It's time, time to make a change and be a professional bowler, or at least try to be a professional bowler. I think it's kind of like a perfect thing for right now, don't you? Where people are, are looking back after this last two years of bleh and trying to figure oh out what God. they want to do with their lives. A multicam sitcom is the, the feeling of it is the opposite of quarantine. It's, it's community, it's friendship. And it's, and it's laughter. But also, something else that makes it very timely is I think so many of us, myself included, took that time, this time when we were unable to go to our jobs, unable to see our friends, we were wondering, like, what do I want my life to look like when this is all done? And that's, that's what a divorce can be in my case. That's what getting laid off can be in Tom's case. But I think the whole country is having that experience. Like, we had that time where there was a disruption and you say, what do I want to do? And how we roll is, is the story of someone figuring out what they want to do. But it's also what happens when you're supported by your family and well, when you're supported by your community. That and that's what I love about it. That is really cool. Now, during the lockdown, I started working on a novel uh, that lasted 25 pages, unfortunately. <laughs> hey, that's not too bad. Isn't the first 25 one of the biggest humps to get over? I mean, now you got to just wrap it up. Let's let's say yes, Pete. Let's let's say yes to that. Now, you're a bowler, right? You, you like to bowl. What's your best score? You know, when I was training, if you can call it that, bowling's so fun, it didn't really feel like training. But Robert Smith, who is a professional bowler, he gave me some lessons. And my record, it was different from playing a proper game because I just got to roll over and over and over again. But I did roll four strikes in a row. Nice. And that's more of a testament to what a, a good bo a teacher he is. But I was really struck how it is these little micro changes, just like golf, or tennis, it's like move your wrist this way, move your knees this way, and before you know it, he would sometimes just move my body to the left or to the right and he goes, okay, start here. And I would I would just start throwing strikes. It was really cool. Man, that's what but I need. When I watch Tom, the real Tom do it, I'm like, I, I can't even come close to that. I, I just wanted to get good enough to not embarrass myself. I totally need somebody to do that. Just take my butt and just kind of move me over and you know, oh, yeah. right there. That's it. There you go. Now roll it. Look, where, however you're throwing the ball, there's a spot that if you did that exactly that way, it would have been a strike. Somebody just needs to show you that spot. Exactly. Pete, thank you so much. Happy birthday, my friend. I'm thank so excited about much. the show. And it, uh, it's coming to CBS. When, when, when does it debut? It's going to be on March 31st, uh, which is Thursday. Uh, it, this is live, right? So it's yes, going to be tomorrow at 930 after g -g 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 ghosts. Don't be scared <laughs> of the ghosts. Watch the ghosts. <laughs> And stick around for the family. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, Pete. See you, man. Congratulations. Bye, guys. Thank you. All right, stick around. We got more in the big show coming up. Hey!